Attention, all Tesla fans and investors. Tesla has released its highly anticipated Q4 production and delivery numbers, and the findings are creating quite a stir in the financial world. Despite receiving flack from a number of experts for not aligning with the consensus of financial groups, Bretton Winston, head of research at RC Investment Management, sees things differently. He asserts that Tesla's key four results are groundbreaking rather than a miss, and that increased production rates are anticipated in the following quarters. In a few short weeks, the stock price might soar to $400. But before we learn more about Brett Winton and his opinions about the company, I'd want to see you click the like and subscribe buttons first. Then, fasten your seatbelts and let's explore the world of Tesla's key four data and future projections. Brett Whitten is the director of research at ARC Invest, a disruptive innovation-focused investment management company based in New York. He oversees the company's research activities, particularly in the fields of nation energy and mobility, because of his reputation in the finance industry. Most people would agree with Whitten's commentary on a variety of topics related to innovation and finance. However, the general public should be able to at least hear Whitten's viewpoints so they can form their own opinions and make an informed decision. Winton is frequently cited in financial news and media outlets as an expert on these topics. Judicious investment, it looks that Brett Winton is right to say that Tesla's key four deliveries were not a miss as the automaker's VA increased by 40 euro while the market was expecting a decrease of roughly 8% by 2027. He estimates that around 60 million electric vehicles will have been sold with Tesla accounting for a substantial percentage of his total in the next five years. He believes that electric vehicle sales will account for the majority of the auto market. Tesla recently revealed its key four production and delivery data, which has been criticized by numerous analysts for not agreeing with the consensus of financial groups like Wall Street. The decline in Tesla's stock price last year was partially caused by Elon Musk's contentious behavior. Elon Musk's contentious behavior has been described as among the causes of the 2021 decline in Tesla's stock price. Using social media to comment on Tesla's stock price and other financial matters, Musk tweeted in May 2021 that the company would no longer accept Bitcoin as payment due to environmental concerns. This caused the value of the cryptocurrency to drop and drew criticism from the cryptocurrency community. Musk's comments and actions have also drawn scrutiny from regulators, including the Securities and Exchange Commission. However, the company also had and continues to have concerns about the markets for its vehicles due to the recent drop in pricing for its EVS in China and other EV markets. Some investors have theorized that Tesla is having demand issues, particularly in the vital Chinese market. Reports on Tesla's progress over the last three months of 2022 have been fully updated. Although Wall Street was expecting Tesla to report deliveries of about 427,000 for the fourth quarter, Brett Winton, head of research at RC Investment Management, stated that rather than a miss, Tesla's numbers are groundbreaking, and added that higher production rates in the next quarters could spur the stock price to go as high as 400 this year. Winton believes that production, not demand, will determine whether or not Tesla reaches its growth. Tesla stated that its annual vehicle delivery is increased by 40% year over year to 1.31 million, and that its annual vehicle production increased by 47% year over year to 1.37 million. Target, even though EV purchasers haven't yet come to the conclusion that their decision to purchase is because of tax rebates on the automaker, is revealing a new vehicle chassis that will be around $50 cheaper in October 2018. However, it must disclose that the next generation platform would cost only half as much as the current Model 3 and Model I. Even though the project has been delayed and may not arrive for the next few years, there is still a lot of anticipation for the new platform while the EV's delivery date is still unknown. Some of their cars will eventually pass due to the numerous price cuts that Tesla is doing in most of its markets. So rather than waiting for another incentive, or for Tesla's cars to qualify, it may be cheaper to buy the car Musk has stated that manufacturing levels will much surpass those of the Model 3 and the Giga Press, a production improvement that simultaneously molds large chassis sections, is to be credited for this. The new vehicle platform was scheduled to be introduced on March 1st during Tesla's Investor Day. Many fans and shareholders were dissatisfied with Tesla's Investor Day, which ran for several hours on March 1st. This led to a drop in the price of Tesla's shares on Thursday, but analysts were generally optimistic, and an update on autos was released on Friday morning.
an analyst from Deutsche Bank expressed their disappointment with Tesla's lack of details about its next-generation platform, pointing out that the firm was silent on launch dates, car segments, pricing points, and financial ramifications. Analysts also noted that at the event, Tesla demonstrated remarkable advancements and unveiled plans for particular manufacturing and technology advancements that they feel will support the company's long-term growth in volume and profit. The 2020 Battery Day event featured a preview of an inexpensive electric automobile, but Tesla did not address it. Moreover, there was no information provided regarding the Cybertruck's delivery schedule, no information about the redesigned Roadster, and no updates on the development of the business's new heavy-duty semi. There was no information provided by Trucking Much regarding Tesla's plans to work with his other business endeavors. Furthermore, despite Tesla's updates on quarterly calls or investor days as of Friday morning, the company's investor relations page still did not have a master plan three document by the conclusion of the day. According to Brett Winton, Tesla would once again set the bar for the EV market if it is able to build this affordable EV, reiterating the ideas from the Tesla ball which had earlier addressed how innovation could give companies a competitive edge, it was also stressed that there were similarities between investments in emerging economies and current innovations. Speaking of which, at Investor Day, Elon Musk confirmed during a key A session that Tesla would be opening its next major factory outside of Monterey, Mexico, but no additional details were provided at the time. The following day, Mexican officials disclosed more information about the project including the fact that Tesla is expected to invest $5 billion in the project. However, executives at Tesla decided not to make the announcement until a few hours into the event vehicle assembly plant with a $10 billion long-term investment and the capacity to employ 5,000 to 10,000 people. During Investor Day, the facility, which will be the biggest in the world for Tesla, will be constructed on approximately 4,200 acres of land. Musk stated that he thought some Mexican officials were present, but he did not provide their titles or names. Thomas pointed out that it was disrespectful to treat these officials in an indifferent manner since the new factory is crucial to Tesla's operations and Mexico's economic future. However, the company's automotive gross margins of 25.9% were the lowest in the last five quarters, which may raise some concerns for investors. Tesla recently announced its key four earnings for 2022. The company generated revenue of $24.32 billion, with earnings per share of 1.19. One of the largest marketplaces globally, Tesla is consistently headed toward an even greater increase in cars in transit at the end of the quarter due to geographically diversified production. So advancements are undoubtedly ahead of us even with the recent setbacks. At its Shanghai factory, Tesla is almost ready to produce over 1 million units annually and the company as a whole may be able to achieve even greater production rates as a result of the ramp-up throughout its plans worldwide. How much do you agree with this evaluation? Please leave your comments in the space provided below. I promise to see you in future videos.